Hello and thank you for watching this video on BHO Technologies Kansas City Computer Repair and Consulting Services. I am Olan Butler, the owner and computer repair technician. And I am glad that you would take your time out to view this video and see what our services are all about and see if our business will fit your needs. In the computer repair industry, BHO Technologies employs what is called the no wipeout strategy. The no wipeout strategy is simply a set of techniques that are used to try to restore a computer to operational uh, status without doing a system restore. In the marketplace, there are several issues that are answered by most computer shops with the answer, we must do a system restore. Uh, we must do a refresh of the operating system. And in those scenarios, it is easy for the technician but difficult for the customer because after those refreshes now the customer is left with the time-consuming and arduous tasks of reinstalling the software and restoring the data if possible from a data perspective and so BHO Technologies goes at the strategy of saying okay what can we do to get the customer back up and going as soon as possible without doing a wipeout process so that they don't have to go through the time consuming and arduous task and can get back up and be productive as soon as possible. I want to mention that in the world of problems with computers there is a 20 percent chance that the problem that you have is one that will require a refresh that may require a hard drive replacement but I also contend there's 80 percent of the problems that do not need a full wipeout a full refresh of the OS or the hard drive and so in those scenarios BHO Technologies works hard to find a strategy that would allow your computer to be brought back into a status of working so that you can move forward and do work with an optimal working computer in the event that you do run into problems. So say for instance you run into a virus issue or maybe you even have some bad clusters on your device. That does not mean that you need to do a complete system restore at that point. There are techniques to remove viruses that normal antivirus software may not get but can be removed by a skilled technician so that you can get up and running without a complete restore. Um, as it relates to um, file problems as well there are some repair techniques that can be employed to get you back up and going without you having to reinstall your OS. Sometimes you cannot, but I'm saying once again, 80% of the time you can. I've done it time and time again, and I know it is possible. And so when I'm on the scene and I'm working on a system, you know that my first view at it is what can I do to get this computer back up and going without going through that wipeout process and get this customer back up and going and keep this as painless as possible. And that's why we call it the no wipeout strategy. Just a little bit of information about my background and experience. Um, I've been in the computer industry now for over 20 years and I've worked at several companies from Fortune 1000, Fortune 500 and Fortune 100 companies to mid-level companies and small businesses. I've done contracting, I've done consulting as well, I've been employees of companies so I've seen quite a few things from many different angles and the experiences that I've gotten across the different environments 
give me different perspectives at how to come about a solution to a particular problem. And so I use and employ a lot of those experiences in the work that I do from a consulting perspective in BHO Technologies and from a computer repair. Um, when I'm working in a small business and they are trying to set up their initial systems and they're trying to figure out what type of architecture they need um, to um, get their business up and going, the experiences I've had over all these different enterprises and small businesses allow me to be able to visualize the type of service they might need, um, what type of architecture, networking, and that sort of thing. Um, as well as in the computer repair area, many different techniques that I've seen employed and have employed myself over the years, I apply to repairing computers as well. So that's varied experience over these 20 plus years um, gives me a good look as far as technology is concerned. A lot of things have changed since I first started, but yet and still a lot of things have stayed the same. Uh, a lot of strategies and a lot of um, perspectives and a lot of direction and ways of attacking a problem has not changed. The technology has changed, but those techniques still apply. As things get more complicated and more sophisticated, there are still fundamental troubleshooting steps that need to be done and fortunate for me I've had quite a few years to practice and to get more skilled at each technique. As this video comes to a close just a little bit more information about my services. In the computer repair area, I could repair computers from um, dealing with viruses and software uh, malfunctions to hardware replacement, hard drives, memory, um, those type of things. I also repair um, issues with networks as well um, as it relates to um, home and small business networks. Um, also, in the computer repair area, I also deal with uh, disaster recovery issues too. And when we're talking about disaster recovery, we're talking mostly about uh, when hard drives <coughs> fail. Um, once again, the 80-20 rule applies here. There's about 20% of the hard drives that I cannot um, get the data back from. Um, but the 80%, I am able to successfully retrieve the data. Um, I have some equipment and techniques to uh, retrieve that data in the event that your hard drive has crashed or your system will not boot. So I do quite a few of those, and once again, I have an 80% success rate. In the world of computer consulting, a lot of times I'm dealing with, once again, small businesses, that are trying to figure out what equipment they need to um, support their business from a technology perspective. Some companies already have the equipment but are having issues getting the software to go and need a little um, consulting to help get them up to speed on how to make everything um, work together congruently and sometimes just to get over some hurdles but at the same time to bring them um, education to the table so that they can um, adequately maintain these systems after I'm gone. Um, sometimes the consulting is just to come in and to give them ideas and ways to attack the problem but not necessarily to do the work. And in all those cases um, those facilities are available. Um, suggestions from individual standpoint, sometimes an individual is getting ready to make a major computer purchase and they're wanting to find out what type of computer they need, how much memory they should get, hard drive, based on the needs of their environment. Um, if they're setting something up as home as far as a uh, family computer system, um, what kind of routers they might need, um, What's the difference between wireless G and wireless N 
why this B and A, just questions like that, um, trying to figure out what's the best approach for their needs. And so those are some of the things I do from a computer consulting perspective. Um, there's more information about my company at www.obcomputerrepair.com. I would definitely suggest that you go out and take a look at my website. There are um, comments from c past customers about the work I've done and particular scenarios that might be of interest to you. And just looking at some of the other things that are part of that website, there are also tips and tricks and software recommendations there as well. So I would just, um, I would just encourage you to go out and take a look. I think there might be something there that will be um, of value to you. And once again, that's at www.obcomputerrepair.com. And thank you for taking time out to watch this video.